Well, hello and welcome once again. J76NY here. And we are back at Willemshaven. We've been resupplied, restocked. And a uh, little bit of an explanation. I know last episode I said I was going to continue to try and attack that uh, convoy. Uh, we did move into position to attack. We had two other submarines in the area that were in the process of attacking. And... Uh, Due to their presence and the torpedoes they had launched, the convoy was zigging and zagging. I made an attempt uh, to hit two separate ships, uh, missed with all four of my torpedoes, ran us completely out of torpedoes, and our fuel was down to about 34%, so I did return to Willemshaven after that. Um, I was thinking about it, and that is just not really all that entertaining to watch I would think me missing um so you get the after action report from the uh tail end of our patrol we did successfully uh sink about 14,000 tons of enemy shipping uh we escorted the convoy so it was a mission that was uh completed successfully um we've restocked our ship we've picked our next assignment which is uh the first part of the norwegian campaign so we have to uh go to our patrol area uh i think it's like 2500 miles we have to uh travel or sink or and sink 7,000 tons of norwegian shipping our patrol area is up here so this is uh roughly where we were the last time so let's um, get our sub moving, get up to the patrol area, and uh, start today's episode the right way. After reaching their patrol sector, U-48 drops for a hydrophone check and discovers a very large convoy of 9 to 12 ships due north of their current location. Captain Krautman orders them to set course to intercept. Okay, so it said 9 to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, whatever happens to be behind this pole, it's the entire British Navy. That is a massive, massive convoy. No doubt highly escorted. So, this is our current position inside our patrol sector. It's on the report. Uh, it does kind of look like they're heading in this course, general direction here, so we'll turn around and go that way. Let's see. Course of these coordinates. Oh, oh, well, we were right the first time. All right, so we're going to run parallel to them as fast as we can. Uh, actually, I'm going to drop down to hydrophone depth. This guy in the uh, listening. Yeah. We're only 12 kilometers out, so we're going to try and stay on the outside edge of their uh, visual range here. Oh, 19 to 21, so it did 9 to 20, so it did uh, actually tell us auf what it was. That's a lot of ships. I don't think I've ever seen a convoy that big before. Alright guys, we are moving into position here. We do have, it's, here's an escort, so escort in the lead, 
And I believe the uh, second ship is merchant. I can find the second ship. Oh. Sure, I saw a merchant in there somewhere. Oh, it's so hard to see again. There we go, there's a merchant. Looks like there's one out there, too. There's one. I'm gonna lock on to you. Oh, you're on the far side. We do have another uh, U-boat in the area here. Hmm. Maybe it'd be better to launch two at the destroyer and two at the, uh... He's close. He is close. No doubt this is a very, very escorted convoy. Makes me a little nervous. Unlock from him. Alright, so you are on the far side. You are a little closer. Alright, so I'm going to pause here and we're going to lock on to the destroyer first. And then we're going to lock on to you. Three point eight kilometers away. All right, where's the destroyer? Oh, where are you, destroyer? Gotta be. I don't think that's the destroyer. That's not the destroyer. That might be. It should be. We should be able to see him right in front of our face. I'm not seeing any damn destroyers here. Alright, well, let's identify you. You're looking like you are... I don't want to say a... doesn't look like an Empire Tower. Not a Liberty ship. Might be the Empire Tower. recognize you. Let's find the distance here. I don't usually try and do this while pause, but right, so I can't even see again. Alright. Five kilometers away, that isn't right. 4.3 Did we not? That can't be right. That's a little better. Alright, let's find her velocity here. Definitely moving really slow.
I really want to find that destroyer. I'm going to launch two on the uh, transport here and two on the destroyer. I want that uh, closest destroyer out of the way before I really try and do anything. Might not be possible though. Okay. Where would that destroyer be? That's not the destroyer. That's not the destroyer. That's not the destroyer. That possible that's a destroyer? here I want to take another distance reading four point seven really kind of bugging me. I can't find that destroyer. She should be right here, unless she's out in front of her and I'm looking the wrong way. It could be too. But here we have this. Unless they misidentified that. I am not seeing a destroyer out here. behind her. It says unknown warship. Fifty-eight. That's not the destroyer right there. It does look like she's heading in the other direction though. That's not a destroyer. <coughs> this is a massive convoy. Ah, here we are. There we go. All right. So she was just a little bit of ways away from uh, our friend here. All right, take another distance reading. Six. Right, I want to make sure I get everything set up on both the uh, destroyer and this merchant ship. I launch two at the merchant, two at the destroyer, and then get the hell out here. But the merchant is further away, so we're going to launch on her first. Go 62. So hard to fine tune this. Flute flood ones. Bump your speed up a little bit. Let's add another. Check the distance again. So paranoid here. 4.1. Alright, now we're looking at 64. change this All right 
fire. Dos. Pause here real quick. Here's our destroyer friend. Lock on to you. It's a Corvette. Isle class. Hard to tell. I'm gonna go with that. This. Distance. Three point nine. That's about right. Yep. I'll uh, we'll check her velocity here. She's probably going real slow, too. All right. And then her course go with 51 Oh okay. nice two teams Bewässern Oh vier Bewässern Oh drei bewässert Oh vier fertig Uh we're going to tighten it up a little bit One meter fire. Nos! All right. And then drop down. Start moving. Did we not launch on on her? We did. Not sure where the torpedoes are, though. 20 meter. Wonder where our... Oh, there they are. All right. Let's get rid of all this while we wait. So we've got two targets, two sets of torpedoes moving in. I don't know why they're so far apart. Take a look here. Alright, looks like it might be a hit here. There's a hit. Hit on the merchant. Slow down. Alright, next, uh, let's see how we did with the destroyer. <coughs> Not looking bad. You turned her uh, spotlight on. That other uh, that other torpedo still on its way to that other ship. There we got another hit there. All right, let's see how we do. It's not looking bad. We might hit her. 
Oh, it was a dud. Come on. There are two duds? Seriously? Well, that makes things complicated. Two duds. All right, she's coming towards us. All right, the Empire Summer was sunk. So now we got to dodge this uh, destroyer's... I can't believe both those torpedoes were duds. Really, a Mark 14s? Did the Germans steal some American torpedoes? All right, what's the depth that we can go down to? 127? Uh, we're at 100 right now. Yeah, <laughs> I think we pissed him off when we hit him with dud torpedoes. Alright, now we got this other U-boat that's in here. And their convoy's going to shit. Hopefully they'll pick up this U-boat uh, at... Sorry guys, but... He's uh definitely looking for us. He is definitely searching for us. We do have two destroyers coming in on us here. There's a third coming out this way. Um, they haven't started pinging me yet, which is kind of surprising. Um, you can hear them, but they, they aren't pinging just yet. Um, we're being as quiet as we can here. He looks... Kind of worried. They're all sweating like pigs. But they haven't picked us up yet. They haven't pinged us. Um, once again, we got water here. Everyone is looking very concerned and sweating because we can't run anything. But we're uh, hiding. We're hiding right now. That's that's the, the key thing. They are turning back. There's this guy, too. I don't want to start my engines and start moving. Um, just because... He's not moving. Or he's moving very slowly. Not sure why they're shining their, uh, their lights, but... There's another one way out there. He's headed... I think he's headed back. We might be able to start moving real slow. Try and get out of here. Hundred and twenty one meters is the gallow or the the depth here. We could probably go down just a little more. Go down to 108. See, he's out there too, so... There he is. He's at periscope depth. He might... I'd laugh if he made an attack run on... What? Is happening here. Can I control this guy?
Huh. I don't know if I, if I can control him. I don't think I can control the other subs. At least I didn't think we could. I'm going to pick my speed up a little bit, seeing as they're headed back towards him. They are moving back towards him, that's for sure. Here's another destroyer out here. I don't really want to mess with him right now. Oh, they're, they're death charging him. Alright, so I did decide to come do a complete stop and let this convoy pass us. We've still got our other U-boat uh, friend out here causing problems. He's hiding in the merchants. He's doing a really good job of it, too. Um, but I think this is the majority of the convoy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set course a little bit away from them. I'm going to go as fast as I can. I'm going to try and get out in front of them um, and then around them and make another uh, make another attack here. So that's the plan going forward here. Something happened to Michael Nod here. Not sure why what happened here, but... Michael Nod's not doing very good at all. Which is unfortunate. So, they are still messing with the uh, sub. Their depth charge attack didn't work very good. Um, I'm going to come up to Periscope Depth. I'm going to get this guy on the... on the radio so we can send our report. That's probably not a good idea to be coming up to Periscope. Right here, so. Alright, we are at Periscope Depth. Get you on the radio. On that report. Drop back down. Wait. Hurry up, get your report off. Yeah, we're dropping too fast. I was going to take a look, but it didn't work out. Wow, we got a lot of tonnage there. We almost got our objective with that one ship. Alright, so we're going to sit and wait and have them go... Cancel our alarm. Get everybody rested. Michael nods. Hopefully doing okay. Um, not sure what happened to him, but he uh, got injured somehow. Okay, we're running on the surface here. Uh, off to our port side, we have the convoy. Um, Kind of wondering if they're still messing with the uh, the destroyer there. But they are off in here. We're uh, moving at our best speed. We're going to come around them like this. And hopefully re-intercept them up here. Uh, it is almost midnight, so going to be getting really dark soon. Uh, although we do have uh, some good visibility here. There's got to be a moon out. Let's see. Maybe probably behind us now. No, I completely lost him. Alright, well, that's fine. We're going to run in this course like this. And then re-engage. Uh, Michael Nod did um, hover here. I'm going to get some other... Some other people uh, doing maintenance on the torpedoes. Just because I don't want duds. I really don't want... We'll do this like that. Him. All right, they're resting. So, Let's see if we can see anything out here yet. 
think we probably uh, probably lost him. Uh, let's go down to periscope depth. And we'll get get you on the listening station on the hydrophone. Right, there's this group here. And then the main group is up here, so we're running on a pretty good course to intercept them. I'm going to leave this group alone and move in on this one here. Uh, being after midnight. There they are out there. Yeah, that's the main group. Definitely. As rain and heavy seas pound the deck of U-48, Captain Krautman gives the order to stand down from their alert and orders everyone to get some much-needed rest. He wants to make sure everybody on the crew is well rested and ready for the next day because they're moving in to attack the convoy a second time. An opportunity like this doesn't present itself often. With so many merchant ships in one location, the chance for U-48 to increase her fame is off the charts. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, part one of a multi-part attack on this convoy. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comments section below. If you want to follow U48 through her career, hit the subscribe, and you can come along with us, and we'll see you for the uh, continuation of the mother of all convoys. Day 76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.